Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, we actually have a kind of a little bit of a mishap going on by Sony itself. So, if you guys may have actually seen yesterday's video, we did go and cover that there is actually a brand new PlayStation 5 update that actually happened. We had a little bit of improve, like a system improvements, but as well. We also had a few different features and other various things change up internally. Now, at, the, at least at the time of me recording this video, we have a little bit of an issue. <laughs> so it's not too good to go and see and talk about, but I feel I want to let people, people be able to actually know because we've actually been flown around a lot when it comes to certain TVs, when it comes to PlayStation 5s. And in all honesty, the PlayStation 5 is actually kind of somewhat messed up when it comes to certain new, like newer gen TVs. So I'm going to talk about it, talk about some potential fixes, and as well talk about the overall drama and issues with it because... It's never good when we have a brand new update and a lot of things get broken. And it's also, not, once again, not a really good thing when you have a brand new update and you have to wait for Sony to go fix it to go and actually be able to go utilize your TV or their features or games or whatever it may end up being. So... We have a lot of stuff to go talk about for this one, and as well, if you guys were affected by this or had any issues with this, leave a comment section. Uh, leave the comment section down below. As well, make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on as well for the brand new PlayStation 5 giveaway. Amazon links down below for the PS5 disc digital console controller. Twitter and Twitch stream as well, link down below, and sign up for Weeble, sign up for Coinbase, get all that free money, all down below, and let's dive in the video itself. So, as I mentioned, this brand new PlayStation 5 update. In theory, should have been good. Like, we should have, like, some little stability. We should have some nice little few, like, quality of life updates. But, sadly, it was messed up. So, you actually have an article here from Tech Radio talking about how the new PlayStation 5 update improves performance, but doesn't fix this annoying TV bug. And here's also why you can access certain TV settings and all the other various things, the PlayStation 5, and also a little bit of a buyer beware, because we did actually have a lot of folks also run into this issue. And we saw, like, I saw it trending on Twitter. I saw people tweeting about it. I saw a lot of just random folks. We saw people asking, just everything of the sort. And it's not been good. I saw it on Reddit, too, as well. So there's a lot of stuff going on over here. So the most recent PlayStation 5 update, Version 22.01.05.0220 improves system performance, according to Sony's patch notes. But there's actually a feature that was sneakily added in the last system update that's actually been causing issues for a lot of different users. Sony secretly added auto low latency mode support, which is ALLM, for compatible TVs in the version 22.01.05.0000, which this is actually an issue because it automatically ensures your display is set to the optimal picture mode. So in theory, that's good, but when it comes in like changes up stuff or chess around the internals or changes settings, it's not good. And for certain TV settings, they are actually no longer available. So we actually had shown by HGTV's test, Vincent Teo, that several TV settings actually cannot even be assessed or are grayed out after installing the latest PS5 system update. So basically you guys can actually utilize certain features like black frame insertion or motion smoothing. Now this is a little bit of a part two struggle. Because this is also, I mean, obviously, if you have a brand new console and you have a nice TV, you don't want to have issues. You don't want to have things get canceled out. You don't want to have things change. You don't want things getting bricked. You don't want anything going wrong. Well, because, duh, you're spending a lot of money and you want to make sure it's working good. And as well, this also is a little bit scary, too, because in the future, there's a lot of really big updates, such as, like, the HDR and other various, like, TV to PlayStation updates that, in theory should be perfect, should be really good upgrades and make the entire console and systems really, really smooth. But when we actually have like these pro like, kind of more chiller features that are not as big console sellers or as big like issues not even working, not a fun sign to go and see. So basically the reason is because of PS5's brand new ALM support, which forces your TV to use the most optimal picture settings for gaming and disables any video processing settings that could increase input lag. So basically, I think it's like, for a lot, I mean, I'm not that smart when it comes to this stuff. If you guys want to chime in more down below, you guys totally can. It almost kind of seems like it's trying its best to optimize and make everything as perfect as it can. Although, it's kind of like it's like the struggle where like maybe like sometimes you're like running on your computer or your phone and you're basically your phone's trying to prioritize the wrong thing or like your laptop or your desktop's trying to prioritize the wrong thing when in theory you want to maybe say prioritize your game but for some odd reasons like oh my god for some odd reason like you gotta go look at YouTube right this second I'm not sure if that's maybe the best way to explain it but it's basically just like not prioritizing things well and kind of messing around with the TVs and such and as well though it's also even more bad news because Sony didn't actually include a toggle to enable or disable the ALLM 
and which actually, funny enough, the Xbox Series X and S does. So first and foremost, that's always an easy fix. Although it's annoying as of right this second that you can't go and change it or optimize it or move it or change any settings. In theory, Sony should be able to go add this pretty easy and make everything and fix this up pretty quick. But at least at the time of me recording this video and uploading it, it's not. <laughs> it's not easy. So it's, it's kind of rough. So basically, that we're even sitting in the article itself. You're at the mercy of these new settings, unless you can somehow disable it on your TV if possible. And it's basically a little bit on the sadder side, too, as well, because even my own TV, as you guys know, I have the CX itself. And although you can fix stuff and you can change settings and make it a little bit more smoother, it still stinks as being affected. Like, I myself am personally affected on this. So on the LG OLED C9 and the LG OLED CX, the solution is relatively simple. Head to the picture settings, click on the additional settings sub-menu, and turn off the instant game response for the HDMI port to which the PS5 is connected. You will not be able to adjust all those settings, even in game mode. This will just will disable VRR support, but as the PS5 currently doesn't even have that as of yet, it's not a problem. So at least, like, I mean, here's my kind of quick take. I don't necessarily mind too, too much if you have to do, like, fixes and stuff. But it is really annoying because you do have to go and still mess around the settings. Like, if I want to have a console, phone, computer, whatever, I want it to be streamlined. I want there to be no issues. I want there to be as easy and as perfect as possible. But at the same time, I do understand a lot of the times there is issues or a lot of times, like, small settings. And they usually do get fixed pretty, pretty quick. But I'll probably have another update in the near future or not. Which is not the worst as well. And as well on top of this too, some of the fixes are more so as you guys even saw the article, are just getting rid of VRR support. And as of right now, that's still not even a proper update. Although that should be coming soon. Hopefully sooner rather than later. That'll be a very big, 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 big improvement for the PS5. As well, if you have an LG OLED C1 or C2, it's not as straightforward. And that probably goes into other TVs too as well, which is annoying because we don't want to be dealing with a non-easy fix issue. And I kind of wish Sony would kind of prioritize this pretty big. And there's also a big caveat to bear in mind. Summon the user manual by long pressing the cogwheel button on your remote and go into the general submenu, click on devices, HDMI settings, and then turn off the HDMI deep color, which will disable the ALLM. However, if you turn off HDMI deep color, you also then lose HDR support, and it'll be locked to a maximum frame rate of 60 FPS. And as you guys know, if your console can run a lot more than 60 FPS, you want the frames, you're paying for it. So it's kind of actually kind of a big issue. Like, I'm actually somewhat annoyed on this because I myself, like I said, I'm personally affected by it as well. So, I mean, I'm sure some people have older TVs, which is fine. You don't have to have the newest t newest and greatest TV. Totally get it. But on top of that, too, it's kind of just annoying because, like, come on. Like, <laughs> come on. So disable all, basically all this one on the Sony TVs just to bring up the settings menu. Click on the channels and inputs. Scroll down and click on external inputs. And from there, click on HDMI signal format. Select the correct HDMI port, so make sure it's connected to your PlayStation 5, and change the setting to Enhanced Format to Dolby Vision. Again, this also, once again, though, is annoying, because it is a fix, and it does work, but once again, it does kind of go and cap your games to a maximum frame rate of 60 FPS, which is, like, that's lame. Like, you want to have your stuff working at optimal size. But at least on the bright side, at least there is a temporary fix. So even though, as even the article said, too, as well, even though these are uh, workarounds let you disable the ALLM, they're not solutions, and I agree. That's why I'm even making a video on this, because if it does kind of go and bring up more attention and brings more people, or as well, some people are just kind of curious on why their TVs are having issues. Like I like I said, I saw it on Twitter. I even saw YouTube comments. Someone in my Twitch chat even asked me about it. So it's annoying, because I want you guys having a working product. Like, I'm, I'm very on the on-go... Like, I very want you guys to always have stuff when it comes to consoles, when it comes to companies, when it comes to everything, to have something working. So hopefully in the near future, we will have Sony themselves be able to go and turn and, like, just put on a nice simple simple, easy on off in a future update because we already saw Xbox do it. It's probably gonna be a super easy fix and super easy to add and hopefully there's no major issues with it. So at least now we have some temporary fixes. At least now people can still utilize it, but this really should be a pretty big priority in my mind. Like it's kind of like I'm one of those people if like there's even only like 5% of people affected. That's still a lot of folks if you have their PlayStation 5. So hopefully Sony will have a better proper fix soon. And as well, a lot of people might not even run into issues. So if you guys have your PS5 or want to get one, you may not have any struggles at all because it's primarily more designed to people who aren't comfortable with exploring their TV settings to get the best experience as well gaming. So I mean, unless you're like kind of going through proper gaming modes or like cinema modes, theater modes or whatever, I personally do. Like if I have a nice TV, I want to utilize it. Thankfully, maybe you guys just won't even notice. Or if you guys are on older monitors, it's not the biggest deal. So uh, let me know what you guys go and think. It's not really the funnest thing, too. It's still a good feature. It kind of gives, like, really good, nice display tech. And it is nice. It's kind of like just a cool thing that should be mixed in and plus with VRR. So hopefully in the near future, it'll be working and solid and nice. 
and they can fix this sooner rather than later. So kind of give me your thoughts and comments down below as well. Make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on as well for the PS5 giveaway. Amazon links down below for the PS5 disc digital console controller. Twitter and Twitch stream as well link down below and sign up for that Weeble and Coinbase. And I appreciate you guys all so much for watching. I was having more videos all throughout today. Love you guys.